Okay, hey guys. Uh, sorry, this is like a really bad angle. I know I'm gonna get shit on for texting and driving or vlogging and driving, but I'm literally not even looking at the phone and I have something in my eye. <laughs> oh, okay. I am like over the moon right now because I don't know if things are gonna work out in my favor and I have a tendency to put, uh, as this one girl that I was friends with, um, I pet the cart before the horse. I wanted to do van life for the last like four years, like van life, tiny house, whatever. And yeah, like it's been something that I've been seriously, seriously talking about for the last like, uh, I don't know, year or two and looking at prices and watching like so many videos and I'm not just talking like these bougie like van life videos I'm talking like the ones that um have problems and the ones that like are more on a budget um and realistic for me at least I'm looking at a van tomorrow van motorhome camper I don't know so I just open up with Gigi and just to see what else and I scroll down and it's like the third one down and I see this motorhome and I'm thinking, okay, uh, kind of cute, cute little shape and uh, door at the back and whatever. And I'm thinking, okay, this is like pretty much me. <laughs> and I got a good vibe from the guys because they're around like my age. They already drove it um, uh, out west and back like this year. So I know that it runs and I know that they can get from point A to point B, which is exactly what I need because this other project one, I don't know. Um, like how much work is gonna be needed and I don't know if it's even gonna last, right? Um, I just feel better about it. And the guy was super, super nice about it. And uh, he was like, yeah, we had like an Instagram account and all this other stuff. So like you can check it out and see the speedometer and um, the interior before, uh, before we like gutted it and stuff. And I was telling him like I would live in it full time. So I'd probably want to like put better insulation and stuff. And so needless to say, I don't need to tell you all the details, but I'm going tomorrow to look at it and I'm bringing the money with me prepared to buy it because I'm one of those ty like types of people that I don't like to sit here and just talk about things a lot. Um, when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Like I just, I talked about Hawaii for like maybe a year and then I just moved to Hawaii um, I talked about, like, I've always said I wanted to, like, learn how to dirt bike and things like that. And, like, I've always pretended that my, my bike was a motorcycle and whatever. And then when I actually started talking about I want to buy a dirt bike, I want to buy a dirt bike, I just bought a dirt bike. So I'm one of those types of people that I don't like to just sit on an idea and, like, kind of let it linger in my head. Like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it or I'm not and I'm going to shut up and move on. Um, and I'm at the point where I just want to fucking do it. And I just so badly just want to sell my little Mazda here, get a van live on the road and I'm just tired of like modern day society and like jobs and like landlords and all this other stuff so I'm just like itching to get something and people have told me like it's gonna take some time for you to even find something like it could take a year no honey no I don't work like that <laughs> I'm giving myself like between now and the fall so if I don't buy the one tomorrow I'm buying one um, like before the fall winter because I need to renovate it through the winter. Um, and yeah, I'm not fucking around. Like I'm going to get this shit done and I want to get it going. So no more stalling, no more putting it on the back burner, no more just like watching YouTube videos and like wishing I had the same life. Like I'm just going to literally do it. So tomorrow my dad and I are going first thing in the morning, be in London at 9am. We're going to look at it. I'll let you guys know if I basically come home with a van or not uh i guess you'll find out if i'm driving it home but i'll let you know how it goes
there's a couple things that I would already change to this, and that is the seat likes to dip at the front. So I'd probably deal with that sooner than later. Oh my god, people are cutting off transport trucks, I swear, it like makes my heart race. Anyways, um, definitely that. Get the seat belt kind of figured out because it just locked when I went to go put it on again. Um, nothing major, like right away, those would be the two things that obviously would get done. And I guess like the one blind spot mirror on my left, um, it's like underneath the mirror, so it's a hassle kind of looking underneath the mirror to see. So I'd probably do that pretty much right away. But I'm on my way to a mechanic right now. Um, and they're going to certify it and all that jazz. And it's, it was done in May of this year, but I guess it expires after a certain period. I guess it's like 36 days my dad read or something somewhere. So we have to get it renewed. I have a temporary sticker right now on the plate and I have to get it renewed in order to um, get the plate, like actually keep it on the road. So when I want to take it to get like the foam insulation and things like that, I'll need like an actual sticker. So I have to pay for the certification and then the sticker. I don't know if you guys can hear me out over the window, but hopefully. But yeah, it's not bad. Like it's actually going pretty good. Like I'm sitting at about 110 right now with it. Um, I feel kind of like bad because I'm usually in a really small car and it's like darting down the left lane passing everybody and I feel like I'm holding up traffic but I guess that's just something that I have to get used to now driving something this big um, it's not just like a pickup right so yeah it's like very different but like a good difference it's a good difference I think I got too comfortable in my little Mazda. Just kind of becoming an asshole driver and like, I don't know, cutting traffic and stuff. So I think it's good that it's like making me have to mellow out a bit. But yeah. So I guess I'll let you guys know what happens with the mechanic when I get there because there's no point in just watching me drive for the next hour. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing. I have an hour drive go home so this will be fun so I'll see you guys in a bit Yeah. 